Hey Parrish, uh, you're going home already? Uh, yeah, I just thought I'd go home tonight. Uh, hey, wait, uh, you carry it. Dude, is that what that man over there thought? Welcome to the Dice Odyssey. I'm Cos. I'm Brian. And uh, we got in. <laughs> oh, wait, wrong, wrong one. <laughs> That's the villain box. Anyway, we're going to try to do an unboxing here soon, or I will. No. Uh, I I'm going to be doing the unboxing. Hold on a minute. Hold on. Hold on. We're going to just enjoy these for a few minutes, okay? Yeah, we'll get back to it. Hopefully, we'll just keep the wrapping on as long as we. Hey, hey. <laughs> Hold on, all right? Damn, You're jumping I'm, ahead of me now. I'm holding on to the knife. Look, you see these right here? We got all this beautiful stuff. Now, I'm, to I gotta go do something real quick. I will be right back. I expect these things to not be unboxed, okay? Don't. You expect them to be unboxed? Don't touch them. Thank touch you. them. Don't touch them. You want me to touch them? No. Uh, you right really, you right really want me to touch these, right? Mm -hmm. Alfred doesn't tell Batman what to do. Like he's gonna tell me what to do. Ooh, it's unwrapped already. My gosh. What are you doing, man? What? I already told you not to unbox these things. What's what? wrong with you? Oh, no! We'll be right back. Now that the peasantry have gone, it is time to do an unboxing. I'm so excited about this. Uh, even my beard is excited. Let's get into this Joker. No pun intended. Well, since Brian already opened this thing, let's get into the Batmobile. I'll get my car. I brought mine. Yours. I gotta get me one of those. Yeah! The big Magilla. Oh, come on. Try not to damage it. This ought to be pretty sweet. Oh, there it goes. Got a rule book. Um, okay, cool. And the thing we've all been waiting for. Nicely packaged. Very nicely packaged. I like that. Oh, look. They even put it for the wings there. Very nice. Very nice. Look at this Joker. I, I gotta quit saying that. That's like a saying of mine, the Joker. That'd be cool if there was a Joker mobile to fight. Maybe they'll do that in the next expansion. I hear that they're doing that in like season two, or I'm sorry, they're having a season two come up, Kickstarter, uh, next month maybe. But look at that. Even the detail on the inside, you can see the steering wheel. I can't really tell what else, but that's pretty cool that they put that kind of detail in it. I kind of wish the bottom was a little more detailed, but that's cool. I like it the way it is. Look at that Joker. All right, dadgummit. Look at that Batmobile. That Tumbler. That's gorgeous. These wheels turn? Okay, so the tires turn, but the wheels themselves stay static. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't want this rolling around all over the board. So, that's quite nice. I really like that. Gorgeous. I'll keep looking at this all day if I don't set it down. Let's see what else we got. Yeah, right, come on out. We got armor and upgrades for the Batmobile. Very nice. Okay. Really excited about this. I mean, oh, what's Batman without his Batmobile, right? And these double sided, yeah. Okay, they're double sided. Sweet. Let's get to the next box, shall we? I guess we're gonna go ahead and unbox the heroes first. As you can see, it's still got the wrapping because I uh, was able to get away from those animals trying to open my game up. Let's get this Joker open. Let's get this box open. I keep saying that. I just watch myself. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah, I'll see what's going to be inside here. I do like the artwork, by the way. It's absolutely gorgeous. And it rides around almost all the way. Back shows you what's inside. There's the Riddler and Poison Ivy. And is that Clayface? Yeah. Very nice. Let's get this bad boy cracking. Yeah. Ooh. Look at that. Got a still. It's Bane, I guess, and his minions, and Red Hood, Catwoman, and Batman fighting. Very nice. Ooh. 
All right, got the rule book, and that is a big, thick joker right there. I mean, I, dadgummit, I gotta quit saying joker. It does not work for this video. 58 pages. Oh, I like that, I like that artwork. I remember that. That's from the, I can't remember which specific comic it is. Is that the Frank Miller? No, that's, well, I can't remember. It, I mean, there's so many different comic book art. I know, and we have the missions booklet. All right. I guess we don't want to spoil anything. Wow, there's a lot of missions in here. And a lot of different uh, characters. A lot of different villains to face, looks like. Again, I don't want to spoil anything, so you can skip this part. I mean, I'm going fast, but it's nice. The artwork is just so prevalent throughout this whole thing. There's Commissioner Gordon. Very nice. Let me go ahead and get into the dice. The dice are nice. That rhymes. Okay, that's what the dice are. Very nice. A lot of little, um, I guess, hit symbols and things like that, and maybe some defensive symbols. All right, so there's the backs. Oh, we got two, two sets there. Okay, so let's take a look at these. You got the backs of these cards. These are these type. Okay, so you have things like claws, stun grenades, revolvers just all sorts of different kinds of service gun service revolver you got gas mask information security oh, okay so some of the stuff some probably things you can find on the on the way that's cool oh that's definitely catwoman okay there there's her name on it you see that okay so there are some character specific cards obviously so there's a crowbar man there's a lot of cool stuff in here bulletproof vest shotgun Love shotguns. Uh, throwing blades. Flaming sword. Nunchucks. Gas capsules. You got a taser handgun. A bunch of those. Sniper rifle. Oh boy. Katana. A kryptonite fragment. Uh oh. <laughs> What's going on here? Machine pistol. Short baton. Lock picking equipment. Hacking equipment. Baseball bat. A tonfa! I love those. Fire axe. Submachine gun. Brass knuckles. Crossbow. A C4 block. A bunch of those. Mini gun. Okay. I'm thinking Terminator 2 when I look at that. That's for the Red Hood, though. That's for the Red Hood. And Green Arrow. Okay. Green Arrow's in this game. That's pretty sweet. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at the Batman specific stuff, I believe. You got your batarangs. Oops. They're upside down. <clears throat> got your batarangs. Got a grappling hook. We've got a couple of the, well, several of these. I guess you're using them for other body. Uh, perforating batarang. Ooh, perforating. Eh, difference. The bat cape. Flame retardant. Flying. The tear gas. The armband computer. Compact gas mask. Compact master key. Explosive batarangs. That's what I'm talking about. The claw. Okay, you got explosive gel, portable forensic scanner, yeah, he is the world's greatest detective, right? Smoke pellets, freezing grenades, Oop. tranquilizer darts, electric bat gloves, that's what I'm talking about, electric taser gun. Uh, yeah, I definitely wasn't expecting to find like, you know, a shotgun or anything in that stack. <laughs> All right, so we got our... Uh, so we got our cubes, and what do you know? They're cubes. Okay, cool. Let's move on. Ooh, here we go. Ooh, I like the setup in here. It's nice. Let's go ahead and open up the big Megilla. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's save that for last. Let's go ahead and take these portions out, because we kind of want to see those, right? Oh, does that stay? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I got it now. No, it doesn't stay. It's going to come out. All right. I guess the bat computers, I know they're your player boards, but nice. All right. Hey, look, there's Bat Cow. That's what I'm talking about. Batman. It, it's, I don't know, it's it's definitely almost cartoonish, but it's uh, it's got that serious cartoonish look, if that makes sense. There's Catwoman, Commissioner Gordon, Robin, Nightwing. 
the original Robin. Well, technically. Huntress. And now when I see her, I'm so used to, I've watched, you know, Arrow on, uh, what is it, the CW. And I'm so used to her looking a little bit differently now. Batgirl. Bluebird. You got Black Canary, same with her. Renee Montoya. Uh, Harvey Bullock. Batwoman. Orphan. I, I don't know that character. Right off the top. Robin. Azrael. Definitely know that character. Crazy. Batman in a different garb. That looks awesome. And again, oh sweet. Oh, what the heck? Is that Bat Vampire? I mean, oh, year 100? Okay. Oh, it tells you right here. Okay, I see it now. I just didn't notice it before. This one's from The Dark Knight Returns. I think that's Frank Miller's edition. Yep, that's definitely him. Got Katana. The Red Hood. Jason Todd. Yeah. Catwoman. The Long Halloween. I like that it gives you the different artwork from each, uh, each one. Duke. There's Green Arrow. And again, I'm so not used to him having that kind of goatee. You know what I mean? Spoiler alert! And Bat Cow. I'm so excited to fight with Bat Cow. I don't know what it is. I'm, I, what am I going to squirt milk at them and stuff? Again, don't know the comic on that one if they even are in the comic. Uh, so I couldn't tell you. But I'm going to make fun of that name. It's funny. No, no. We're going to still wait on these. All right. Let's get the boards out. Oh, my gosh. That's actually kind of heavy. All right, so this might take up a good chunk of this table. I don't know yet. Okay, as you can see, this, this, I'm trying, I almost said Joker again. This thing is massive. Just massive. I mean, all right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in a little and just kind of get you an idea of certain aspects of it. Okay, that's a little too far. Okay, but you can just see the detail in the, in the streets and everything else. And what I want to do is I'm going to take the camera off. But as you can see, there's going to be a lot of cool area to cover. Warehouse looks like. I mean, that is absolutely gorgeous. And maybe an office area right there on that one. And this thing, uh, yeah, it's upside down, but that's okay. That's all right. We'll work with it. I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm just kind of like, yeah, we'll take a look at it. But as you can see, it's a, it's a really well-realized area. And as you can see, also, it's, it's got different levels and things like that. But yeah, okay. So that gives you an idea of at least one thing. I'm going to go ahead and flip the board over and show you the other side because I think this is double-sided. Okay. Now, this is the other side. And take a look. There's a fire down there, maybe a flare. I can't tell. It looks like a subway. Uh, broken up subway. There's a subway car, as you can see on the inside there. Something has happened. And then you've got just more underground area. There's an escalator. Look at all that. This is going to be fun to play on. This is going to be fun to play on. I wonder if Killer Croc's down here somewhere. He's definitely going to be in the game, so he's got to be in like one of these areas probably. That would just thematically make sense. Ooh, look at that. Oh. Okay. Now we're getting into it. Is this the... Uh, this is a place that we're going to have the Joker created. As you can see, you got the chemicals. It's definitely a chemical warehouse or plant, I should say. And you got all the, yeah, look, all the drums of, of chemicals, most likely. Look at that. Just the detail that went into this. This is just gorgeous. Gorgeous detail. All right, so there's that side. Is this the GCPD? Oh, and it is upside down. I am going to fix that this time. No, oh, no, it's a bank. It's a bank. Never mind, because I see the vault. You see the vault there? You got all that money? You just wish you could have that. I know I do, too. But look at all that. The detail. You can definitely tell there's been a skirmish of some sort or a scuffle. Or somebody's been trying to rob it either way. And then you got, I think, SWAT team and just police officers outside. And... Looks like a buggy's turned over. Interesting. Oh, okay. They serve hot dogs and things like that. Sweet. So that's that. Let's get to what most of us have been waiting for. Save the best part for last, at least out of the Heroes box, right? Ooh. 
take a look at that. Okay, so we've got a bunch of, those may be civilians, I'd imagine. And then you look like you got police officers and SWAT team maybe and some other things. Drones. The detail on these are just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let's go ahead and lift this up. Ever so, well, ever so gently. Ha! Look at that. There's, there's bat cow. That's nice. Absolutely gorgeous looking miniatures. I'm gonna have to get a few of these out. I kind of want to start with what looks like the Frank Miller edition. Batman. I mean, look at the sculpt. His cape and everything else. Absolutely beautiful. Let's see. Let's get the other Batman out. I think this is just normal. Normal edition Batman. That's a nice pose. Absolutely beautiful. That is a very nice pose. He just slugging somebody. Look at the detail right there, even in the abs and everything else. That's Batman. Okay, we gotta look at Bat Cow. <laughs> I'm sorry. Bessie is fighting on Batman's side. It's just amazing. I'm gonna squeeze for some milk. I'm hungry on the battlefield or I'm thirsty. I'm gonna get some milk. I don't know anything about uh, Bessie the Bat Cow or what have you. So, yeah, so I don't know anything about it. So I'm just kind of having fun with it. What is all this? Oh, okay. Okay, so this is what you put him on. I see. I got him in there temporarily, but I really like that look. That just adds more 3D to it, right? Much more fun. Alrighty, cool. I'm going to stop with those in particular. I'll have to deal with those later. This one has got to be Catwoman. As you can see, uh, the detail is amazing. Alright, let's take a look at this. Gorgeous. I mean, they did a great job. I want to look at Azrael. Azrael just looks absolutely amazing. Look at the cloak on that. Wow. And I gotta see Green Arrow. I've been watching Arrow long enough. It's time we have a miniature of him. Very nice. You have failed this city. Now, I really like the look of this one. I really like the stance. This is awesome. I like the look of that. The whole new cape. And all we're missing is the Terminator. That's all we're missing from the Red Hood here. <clears throat> Beautiful miniatures. I think that one's Commissioner Gordon, maybe. Yeah, definitely. It looks like he has a mustache. Even the details as minute as that. The coats are just gorgeous. All right, I think it's time to get to the villain box. Okay, so now it's time to get to the villain box. Absolutely gorgeous artwork again. I mean, you just keep on saying gorgeous, and there it is. Come on. There we go. Let's get it open. Yeah. All right, here we go. Here we go. Whoa. That's cool. So this is the river system thing. I like how they even package this up. That's nice. Get this out. Man. Okay, for anybody who likes indented boards, we've got it. That is sweet. This is the villain board. Whoever's controlling them is going to be using this. Solomon Grundy's in this one, too. Sweet. Let's get these out. Man, this one doesn't seem to pack quite as much, but I bet it's mostly, maybe mostly miniatures, I guess. Uh-oh, what's going on here? Yeah, it's a little... It's a little punched in on this side, but hopefully nothing got damaged. Oh boy. 
But wow, look, they put the counters in here. Wow, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, there are a butt ton of counters on this thing. Counters and cards, or uh, you know, descriptors. It's got all the different kinds of characters. Got the Joker, Poison Ivy, Thugs, Carnivorous Plants, the Officers. My goodness, it's got everything. There's Solomon Grundy. Not sure what this is for right here. Maybe it's a starting point. I don't know. There's a Harley Quinn. There's another Harley Quinn. There's Deathstroke. Wrath. Mrs. Bloom. Scarecrow. Killer Croc. There's a ton. Alright, so. I'll get into that later. I wonder what the back side is, actually. Is that like a different? Hold up. So I got that side. But then we have a whole different... Oh, that must be when they die or, or they're taken out or something. Okay, okay. That's cool. All right, let's see what's in here. Uh-oh. Wow. Okay, okay. There's a ton of big ones, too. It must be a Bane, a Clayface, Killer Croc, probably Man Bat. My gosh, look at this. I'm trying to spill these. There's your carnivorous plants. Look, Riddler's goons. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, man. Can you tell I'm excited to get into this? Oh, that must have been covering the other one. Oh, wow, there's a netter. Okay, so it's saying you have to glue the net on there. Sweet. There's the Joker. Oh, now I can actually say, look at that Joker. Look at that Joker. Look at that. Oh, sweet. You got the Riddler. Did y'all actually like the Jim Carrey Riddler from way back when? Batman Forever, what have you. I'm kind of curious how people feel about it. I guess some people I know who like it, some of them really hated it. And looky here. You got good old fat penguin. There he is. Stubby little penguin. Nice. A little bend there. I don't know if that's supposed to be that way. I might have to do a little hot water on it. But hey, it's good. And look, there's Harley. My girl, Harley. There she is with her big old mallet. Another version of Harley? That might be Puddin'. Hey, Puddin'. Yep. That's what it looks like. She's got her pop gun. Look. Got another version of the Riddler. There must be a couple of different versions of each. Look at that. He's going to beat you over the head with a question mark. Oh, this dude. Scarecrow. We got a Scarecrow, y'all. Look at that detail and that scythe. Now I want to play scythe. Love that game. Used to not. I uh, like this though. This is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And this has got to be Bane. Yep. I got the venom. I call them the venom pipes running out of his head. Bane. I gotta do Batman is gonna psh, knock that off. You know, if he would let Batman close enough to do it. Look at that. Wow. Hey, look. The original Red Hood, so to speak, with his little machine gun there. Nice. Uh, that is freaking amazing. I love this miniature. Is this Poison Ivy? Yep, that's definitely Poison Ivy. She's got the tendrils, the plant life going on here. That is quite amazing art or uh, detail work there. All right, I kind of want to get over here to the bigger miniatures real quick before we finish this out. And I gotta, I think I gotta pull the versus system out too. Ooh, this one's, this one could be fragile. Better be careful with it. Some of these are already toppled a little. Mr. Ugly, that's my nickname for him. 
That's Mr. Ugly. All right, so we've got Killer Croc. Wow, look at the detail on that. He is just ready to slice Batman a new one. Go slice Batman a new one, big boy. All right, so we got Clayface. Yeah, yes, the big monster that he is. Why did you make me this way? Because you're an idiot. You kept on taking all that stuff. All right, so I'll just set him down here. Let's see. Is that Grundy? Look at Solomon Grundy. Yes, they did a great job on this miniature in particular. There is Venom Doubt Bane. He's just bigger and stronger and more venomous. That's right, baby. Big old muscular dude. I believe. Man Bat. Look at that. Man, look at the detail on the wings. The texture. If you could feel the texture. They got the texture down right, too. All right, so that's it for the villains. Now we got the versus system. Let's take a look at that. There we go. Actually, I had a little fingernail there. I could do that. I know Brian and Percy, they wish they could be unboxing all this instead of me. But they're not, so I'll just let them feel jealous. I know you guys are watching. Check us out. I just like the look of that right there. So this is the player versus player system, and uh, I, I guess it's forming your teams. I'm not 100% sure, but I love the fact that you get a second, a second uh, river system thingamabobber. I'm going to hear about that, that thingamabobber term. So we've got the versus mode rule book. Cool, cool. Ooh. Well, we could just stay right there for a minute, right? Beautiful. All right. So in a different language, another rule book that you get in there. What is going on with this? Not quite sure what all comes in this box. What is this? That is a massive thing to keep this in. I wonder if they're going to keep the rest of the stuff in there. These tabs, basically. Or discs, I should say. See? I got these discs in there. Hey, you see these are GCPD. You got shields. Okay, and more drones looks like. I wonder if these are for deactivating bombs as well. Ah, okay, so these are your versus system cards and tokens. Cool. Hey, look, Bruce Wayne's even in there. That's pretty freaking cool, actually. All right, so we got that. And we got that. And look, bat cow. Or maybe. Yeah, it definitely looks like it. Okay, well, that's pretty much the uh, the unboxing. Again, uh, we will have a review up of this whenever we get done actually playing through enough scenarios to talk about it. Uh, now it's time to go learn the game. Anyway, thank you so much for putting up with us and our fighting and our arguing and our uh, unboxing, ultimately. We thank you so much for hanging out with the Dice Odyssey. I'm Kaz. You have a blessed day. And game away. Dude, you know I'm moving away. You said I could have some games. I just thought I'd take these. <laughs> this video is brought to you by Fallen Dominion Studios. Check out their website at fallendominionstudios.com.